Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete Yoast SEO tutorial for beginners. I will show you everything that you need to know about Yoast SEO, from getting Yoast and installing the plugin onto your website, showing you the different modules and features and what they do. We will then be making sure that you have Yoast set up correctly inside of the settings area. And then of course, most importantly, improving the SEO on your website to help you rank higher in Google. So even if you are brand new to building websites and you have never used an SEO tool before, all you have to do is follow along with this video and you will walk away as a Yoast expert. So the very first thing that we need to do to access Yoast SEO is actually get this installed onto our website. So what you want to do is just go to your WordPress dashboard, make sure you are signed in. And then once we are here on the WordPress dashboard, we want to go to plugins on this left hand side then go to add new plugin right here. And then from the plugin library right here, we just go to this top corner and we are going to search for Yoast. We can click on enter right there and then Yoast SEO, this is the one that we need. We just click on install now. And then once this is installed, we can go ahead and activate this. And just like this, we now have Yoast on the website. So once we have installed and activated the Yoast plugin, you should see on the left hand side of your screen, we now have the Yoast SEO area. So we want to hover over this and then click into general right here. And this is going to be the Yoast dashboard. So right now we don't have any problems so far, but we will dive deeper into this because this website right here is definitely not optimized for SEO. But there are no serious problems right now. So this is the dashboard. And then what we can do from here, this is very important, is we need to go into the settings. And these are all of the features that we can get with Yoast. In this area, we can choose which site features we want to turn on or off. The first is SEO analysis. Of course, this is very important because this is going to basically take all of the writing that we have on our website and tell us how good the SEO is and how we can improve the SEO. Another fantastic feature is the readability, which is once again going to scan through your website with AI and tell you how readable is this to people who are viewing your website. We then have this option that is off by default, which is inclusive language analysis. So if you want your blog or your website to be more inclusive with the copy that you write well you can go ahead and turn this off then we can go down we have insights right here so get more insights into your writing what words do you use the most and going down by default it's going to have all of the important ones that we need on by default then we can go over to site basics and we might need to make some changes in this area so right here, we have the website name and by default, this is going to be the URL of your website, but we don't want the website name to be .com. So for example, if this right here was geforcenorth.com, because this is the name of my website, then instead what I would do is I would put the actual name of the website, right? Which is going to be GeForce North. Then we have an alternative website name. So if you have like a shorter version of your website or you rebranded and the other name is more popular, you can enter that in here. We then have the website tagline. So you can enter that in right there. We have like a title separator that you can choose right here. So essentially what the title separator is going to do is if, if I type Yoast SEO, you see how this is separated with a dot. SEO for everyone then the dot, then we have Yoast. This one is separated by a dash. And essentially that's what we can choose right here. My personal favorite is this little eye icon, this dash straight down. I really like this. And then down here we have a site image. So this image is used as fallback. So if you have a post or a page on your website that don't have any images set, well, this is going to show up instead. I don't like setting something for this as I like to have all of my pages with customized images so we can leave that off. And then down here, is there anything else that we need? Not really. So once we have filled that out, we can click on save changes right here and those changes are going to be saved. We can then go down to site representation and right here at the top, we can choose if this is an organization or a personal website. So for me, with the website that I have, this is definitely a personal website for a visual designer. So I'm going to set this to person. We can then enter in some personal info. So we just select the user. 
we can then choose the personal logo or avatar that we use on the website. By default, this is going to scan the website and choose your default logo. So you shouldn't really have to change this. Once again, we can click on save settings and just like that, the site representation is filled out. Next, we can go down to posts right here. And right here, this is where we can set up the individual post settings. So I would say this is definitely more so for a blog and it's going to essentially show how your posts show up inside of Google. Very important, we want to make sure this is on because if this is off, imagine I'm creating a food blog, right? Well, I want people to be able to search like different terms and my blog articles show up. If I turn this off, no blog articles are going to show up and my website is only going to show up if somebody searches for my website. So we need to make sure this is on. We then have the SEO title. So right here we have the title, the page, the separator that we selected earlier and the title. So we definitely just want to leave this as it is. And then for the meta description, we can fix this later. So once again, with this page, there's not much here that we can update apart from that. So we can go to pages and do the exact same thing. There's nothing to change on here. And that is everything that we need in terms of settings. So now we can get into the real meat and potatoes of this tutorial and talk about how we can use Yoast SEO to actually improve the ranking of our website. So all we need to do is open up the website right here and you can use this with basically any builder. So you can see that I have edit page, which is going to allow me to edit the page with the WordPress editor or edit with Elementor, which will allow me to edit the page with Elementor. So if I click into Elementor right here, we will be able to see this settings icon right here. And if we click into the settings icon, then go over to Yoast, we can see everything that we can change on the website to make this website perform better. So that is with like a third party page builder. But alternatively, if I just go back and I go to edit page with the regular WordPress editor, we are once again going to be able to scroll down and we can see the Yoast SEO right here. And this is what we will use to edit the website. So for my page, I'm just going to go back into Elementor right here and then we can open up Yoast SEO and we can click into the SEO analysis. So we can see right here, we have six problems on here. So the first one is going to be keyword distribution. Have you evenly distributed your focus key phrase throughout the whole text? And the reason that this is gray is because we haven't set a focus keyword yet. So what we essentially want to do is we want to figure out what focus keyword do we want to target throughout our website? Well, if I'm a visual designer, I want to show up on Google for people searching visual designer. So I'm going to set my focus key phrase to visual designer, just like that. And we now have this set. So we can essentially use this page to now go down and add visual designer throughout this website. Another problem that we have is outbound links. There are no outbound links appearing on this page. So we can go ahead and add some. So let's just say as an example, let's just link to Google right here. We we'll just go to Google, copy this. And then let's link this onto the website. So we can add a link into here. We can go down. We can maybe add a link to this image right here. And this is just to show you how this works and how we can go ahead and improve SEO with this. So if we now click back into the page settings and we go to Yoast SEO, we can see that the external links has now disappeared. And now we have internal links. So we fixed external links. Now we need to fix internal links. So to do this, all I'm going to do is go over to one of these pages, for example, and I can copy the page. This is an internal link as it's still on the website. And then right here, we can maybe go to this image, paste this in right there. And now if I go back, this should be solved as we now have an internal link. Perfect. Another issue that we have in here is key phrase density. The key phrase that we selected up here, visual designer, was found zero times. It's less than the recommended minimum of two times. So just as an example, once again, I'm just going to go in here and add the word visual designer a few times. We'll go here, visual designer. Just to show you how this works, we can then go back over to Yoast and this is now going to disappear. So we don't see that anymore. So that is how we can go through the problems right there. We then have improvements. So improvements are like, this kind of is important and it might boost your SEO, but we need to focus on problems first. So we could go to improvements, image key phrase, images on this page do not have alt attributes. 
So all we would have to do, and by the way, if you don't know what these things are, like alt attributes, you can literally just Google what are alt attributes and it will tell you. So what I'm going to do is just go back and I can add some alt attributes into this, which would be under media. I can go to my library. And then for these images, all I have to do is explain what these are. So visual designer profile image, just like that. And then we can add this. So we would go like logo. It doesn't have to be complicated. We just go in and say what these are. So once we have added these, because I didn't add all of them, I don't actually think this will budge or make a difference, but you get the idea on how we go in and fix these. So that is basically the whole process. Once we have set it up with the back end settings that I showed you earlier, all you have to do is go to the editor, find exactly what your SEO is telling you to change and improve on, make those changes and that will boost your SEO. So that is my Yoast SEO tutorial for beginners. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.